I am so excited and also nervous because I have got an art date. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Iris from Iris Impressions Art. Today I am having an art date with Miranda Meulenkamp and we're filming it. So we're meeting in just about 30 minutes. I've got my setup ready here. Let me just show you what I've done. So I've got my computer ready with Zoom. I've got my camera set up there so I can film what I'm doing. I've got my cup of tea, very important. I've got my tripod over there so that I can put my phone there for a second angle, very profesh. I got my picnic table here so that I've got extra surface area to let things dry. And also I have taken some stuff out ready here. So some journals, some papers, some interesting little things. The thing is, I don't know what we're actually going to do. Like that's still going to be kind of a surprise because what we have both agreed to do is to basically create some of these pieces of paper, very secret, with subjects and art supplies and techniques on them. And then when we're together, we're going to each, you know, unfold one and see what we get um, and like combine one of mine and one of hers and see what it is that we're going to paint or draw or do. As you know, I really literally only do quirky faces usually, <laughs> so I'm a bit intimidated. I think uh, Miranda likes to also do uh, buildings and flowers and like still life stuff. So I think it's going to be slightly out of my comfort zone. Um, but it's gonna be really fun and I am looking forward to the challenge and also to just a little bit of social, you know, because being an artist and always just like being in your own space and kind of making it up as you go along by yourself, working together with other people is actually really motivating and inspiring. Yeah, so I am looking forward to it. I hope I've got everything ready. <laughs> I don't know, I've never done this before. Um, and yeah, so let's going. Let's go. Let's get going. And I hope you enjoy this little art collaboration. I'm just testing my Zoom call, and um, got such a charming background there. Shoes, loads of crap in the background. Look, it's Miranda. This is gonna be so much fun. Acryl. I have acryl. Oh, echt? Yeah, here. I have a plant. Dus ik heb een plant. Hello, hello, it's voiceover Iris here to keep you company on this art date. As Miranda and I are both Dutch, we were chatting away in Dutch and we had such a lovely conversation about art and creativity whilst just being creative together. Um, I've left a little bit of it in the video as kind of like flavor sound, but for the most part, I'll be chatting you through what we did in English. The first prompt we drew was acrylics and plant. This was a challenge for me. I don't usually work with still life subjects or from references. I'm also not a fan of green. <laughs> Apart from turquoise, you hardly see me use green in my work. Uh, but maybe especially because of this, it was just so much fun. My reference was my own succulent that I grew from a tiny cutting a few years ago. And I liked being able to paint something that's part of my life and that I see often. I mixed my own green, uh, again, something I don't often do. It was all just a really fun way to push myself out of my comfort zone, but by doing it together, it didn't feel difficult or scary at all. Gewoon dat gezelschap en dan, dan is het opeens heel makkelijk. Ja, precies. Ben je gewoon even bezig. Kijk, die, de, hij ziet er nou zo uit. Oh cool, ja, mooi. Ik snap het. Je oh leuk. The second prompt was pen and eyes. Well, you know that eyes are my comfort zone, so this became a really fun and playful page. Ik ga een nieuwe pakken. Uh, paint pens. The third prompt was paint pens and animal. I chose frog because while playing a drawing game with friends the other day, I realized I totally didn't know how to draw a frog from memory and it was hilarious. Anyway, <laughs> so this time I looked up some references online. Um, it's so easy to just do a Google image search and to make quick sketches. And I really encourage you to do this too. Just don't think too much about it. I took the opportunity to experiment with different substrates. The paint pens didn't work in my black Sakura journal very well, but the crinkly pages in my moleskin were perfect for them. Met je niet dominante hand. Oh cool, wat leuk! Dat is een goede combinatie. 
The fourth prompt was by far my favorite activity. Uh, we used our non-dominant hand to paint flowers. It was such a fun challenge. Um, I used the same paint that I still had left over from painting the succulent. I called it lazy, but Miranda suggested that I like to do things efficiently or with ease. Um, sometimes it's easy to respond to something that's right in front of you rather than complicate your thinking or try and like make it all like by the book. Oh wow, a pair of poos. I find them so like. <laughs> The fifth prompt was finger painting, pink, and something on your desk. Wow, this was just a complete car crash for me. <laughs> I sincerely hate finger painting. I just can't stand the feeling. Um, and I especially didn't like it combined with trying to create something intelligible. Uh, the feeling of not being in control was just too much. Moving on quickly. Um, for me is it so belangrijk that als ik iets aan het doen ben dat ik het leuk vind om te doen en dat het fijn voelt om te doen. Ja. Dit is niet fijn. Nee, inderdaad. The final prompt was cat and stencils. That was another challenge because I hardly ever use stencils. But I had quite a lot of fun with this one. I think by this time I had really got into the creative process and I was just happily playing. And I think it shows in the artwork that I created. It wasn't necessarily my favorite one, but it just lo looks loose and free. Um, but I much preferred Miranda's artwork that she created though. Um, it really inspired me to add some turquoise to my spread too. Leuk. Ja, ik ben er blij mee. Oké, okay, back to live Iris now. Wow, we just finished and it was so much fun. Um, I hope this is going to be a fun video. I don't know, I haven't edited it yet. I have very messy hands. There was finger painting, which I hated. <laughs> um, and let me just show you the aftermath. So this is where we started. We started with the, um, with the plant. Then the eyes, which I then added some uh, some dark blue behind, and I really like how like loose and fun. And I would never have done this. Uh, turned out so nice. Then with the paint pens on the black paper, which didn't really it looks all right, but that didn't really take it very well. Then I took my paint pens into my crinkly sketchbook, which worked really well. Um, let me just put that into the light for you. Um, did the flower, which was the flower that I've got over there, um, and uh, just with acrylic paint straight into my crinkly sketchbook. And this was with my non-dominant hand. I have to make some notes. Um, and then, oh, this one, this complete car crash. Um, <laughs> finger painting some stuff that was on my desk. Oh my goodness, I really, I like this as an abstract piece, but um, don't really, yeah, I did not enjoy that. And then finally stencils and uh, a cat. Um, so very out of my comfort zone, but I actually quite like how this turned out and how loose it became. So much fun. And that is just such a happy, messy desk. If you can do something like this, doing a art session with someone, obviously if you can get someone in your actual space that's amazing but it is just as amazing doing it online. Um, it works so well. Uh, Miranda is such an amazing person. She is so much fun and it really felt as if we had known each other forever. Um, I, I don't think we mentioned this but I had literally never spoken to her <laughs> before this Zoom call. Like we, we talked like in messages but we had never spoken to to each other um, so how much fun and I really hope that you have enjoyed this video and I really hope that you have enjoyed seeing all of the different ways of uh, making art with different materials and how you can push yourself out of your comfort zone uh, and how you can kind of get that feeling of like yes I can do it when you're doing it with someone else uh, who is also being creative and pushing themselves out of their comfort zone and being inspired um so yeah that was loads of fun thank you so much for joining me um thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for watching to the end of the video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um subscribe to my channel subscribe to miranda's channel and i will see you in the next video uh, bye